Good morning. Reset days at home are some of my favorite days. We recently moved into our new apartment and this kind of morning was very much welcomed. Each morning is a blank canvas, a new opportunity for you to paint whatever picture you desire. A new day gives us an opportunity to make new choices, better habits, and a chance to show up as the best version of ourselves. It's within these moments that we lay the foundation for the rest of our day. In a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable, there's a solace and a sense of empowerment in the creation of a morning routine. It's a gentle rebellion against the rush of the outside world, a space where we carve out just for ourselves. A morning routine is more than a series of habits. It's an act of self-care and self-love that sets the tone for the rest of the day. It's a powerful declaration that we are worthy of investing time and energy into our own well-being. By embracing a morning routine, we gift ourselves the precious opportunity to nurture our bodies, clear our minds, and align with our deepest intentions. It's a deliberate choice to honor ourselves and step into the day with intention, grace, and a renewed sense of purpose. In a world that often demands our attention, let us remember the profound impact a morning routine can have on our lives as it becomes the compass that guides us towards a life of balance, fulfillment and personal growth. Now, before you click off the video when I mention this word, I get it. Gratitude might sound like another buzzword that everybody's using, but trust me, it's more than a concept. It's a game changer. Life can get overwhelming, leaving us feeling drained and disconnected. I get it. But here's the thing. Gratitude flips the script. It's like putting on a pair of rose tinted glasses that let you see the hidden gems in your everyday life that you may have previously overlooked. Practicing gratitude is all about counting your blessings, big and small. It's about acknowledging the little sparks of joy that often go unnoticed amongst the chaos. Trust me, they're there. From that morning coffee that warms your soul, the five minutes that you get to yourself in the morning, or those heartfelt conversations that you have from close family or friends from time to time. But here's the real magic. When you make gratitude a habit, your perspective completely shifts. You start to notice the good stuff more often and suddenly life feels a little bit brighter even on the toughest days. And the benefits? Gratitude reduces stress, boosts resilience and improves relationships. So try it and maybe something will shift within you too. Moving our body is something that we all know we need to do but this is something I've been personally struggling with. I've put on some weight and I know it's not all about how you look but definitely this plays a part in how you show up in life. This is an area I'm looking to improve so this new apartment is giving me a new opportunity to have a fresh start and move my body. It doesn't have to be perfect but just showing up and getting it done is better than nothing. After my workout, since I wasn't going anywhere, I put some oil drops on my scalp. This is not sponsored, by the way, but if you've been following me, you'll know I've been struggling with thin hair and my hair kind of falling out and leaving me with little patches. So I'm really trying to pray that something's going to work. Any little help will will help at this point and this scalp massager is designed to promote hair growth so I'm hoping that in a couple of weeks I'll be able to show up on here and tell you how much my hair has grown one can only wish My morning skincare ritual has progressively gotten better over the years. In my 20s, I didn't really prioritize my skincare at all, but since I entered my 30s, I realized the importance of just taking five minutes of the day to prioritize myself. And there's just something special. Yes, the products are good, but there's something special about looking yourself in the mirror, taking the choice to take care of your skin and make that extra effort for yourself before you go about your day.
If I just want to go for a very, very minimal makeup look, I'm talking next to nothing, then I go ahead with the MAC Spice Lip Liner in combination with NYX, which is the shade Stockholm. You know when you hear people say, oh, people ask me this, but genuinely over the last 10 years, which I've been wearing this combination, people genuinely have asked me what is the combination, and that is it. Then I just put a tiny, tiny bit of liquid blush just to give my cheeks a little bit of a glow, and that's pretty much it. An old habit of mine that I have cracked is allowing myself to get really hungry and then just eating whatever I can get my hands on, which is a very unhealthy habit because most of the time I would end up eating something pretty bad. But now I'm training myself to spend that little extra time in the kitchen to choose something that is fresh, homemade, and just overall better for me. I mean, what I'm eating is not perfect, but it's definitely better than grabbing some instant food in between working. I usually sit at the dinner table and pop on a podcast that's interesting to me or something easygoing. Today I chose something easygoing, lighthearted, and this is the Newlyweds podcast by Jamie Lang and Sophie Habu. They used to be made in Chelsea. If you're British, you probably know what that is. I wasn't a huge fan of that show, but I actually find them quite relatable in some senses, and it's just quite humorous. They're also planning their wedding, which would help me with mine. Is there really anything better than a clean house with freshly washed laundry hanging up smelling amazing and making the house just smell glorious no i don't think there's anything better i'm really really good at washing staying on top of the laundry hanging it out we dry everything naturally putting it away is something that i'm working on Now, some of you may find this sad or funny, I'm not sure, but since I work from home, I spend a lot of my time by myself. And don't get me wrong, as much as I love my own company and love being by myself, I like a bit of background noise. So I tend to put like Netflix on, something that I'm not gonna get like attached to or think too much about. So things like baking shows or home renovations or something just to keep me going and just to have that bit of background noise, not something that I'm gonna get sit down and get completely drawn into. So I just wanted to tidy up the living area. We had recently moved in here, like I mentioned, so there's just some things to do. It's kind of like never ending. So I'm just giving the vacuum a quick whip around before heading to do some admin work. Since I do work for myself, I only have myself to rely on, which is beautiful, but also pretty overwhelming at the same time. So I do use Notion, which is a platform where you can basically organize everything in your life. This is not sponsored. I have to say that again, because I don't want you to think I'm just saying these things because they might be sponsored. This is genuinely something I use every day to organize my wedding, my business, handle my YouTube plans and the videos I'm gonna create to keep track of my habits and my weekly to-do lists. It honestly goes on and on. You can create budget templates, you can just do so much within this platform. So one of the tasks I always do is pop down anything that's in my mind, such as to-dos, anything that I have on my list that I want to take off. This is something I would typically do on a Sunday just because I want to go to Sunday night, not with the thought of, oh, I need to do this or I need to do that by tomorrow or on Thursday I have this appointment. I just want to get everything there. So I'll sit and brain dump everything I need to do for the week. And then what I tend to do is come down on the weekly plan, which is just Monday to Friday 
and just drop things in there, which which I can do when, if that makes sense. And then if something's important, I just transfer it across to my Google Calendar. But if I try to go into a Google Calendar without having done this brain dump first, I find myself getting quite overwhelmed and not really knowing where to start. So this is just my ritual that I tend to do every week that really helps me to kind of stay calm and organized at the same time. For those of you who love Notion like me or want to use Notion, then I've created some cute little free templates that I'll link in the description box down below. I've got everything from like preparing your food for the week, templates on preparing your workouts, budgeting, weekly brain dumps, daily checklists, like those kind of things. So I'll link that in the description box down below and you can take your pick from whatever you, whatever your heart desires. For those of you who are new here, then perhaps you don't know that I run an e-commerce business as well as a coaching business and I also create content online such as this one and other social media platforms. So if these are topics that are genuinely of interest to you and you want to know more about it, then please comment down below and I'd be happy to share more information and inspire and help you on those topics as well. When I think back over the last couple of years to understand what I'm doing when I feel like my best self, definitely reading or incorporating it into my day in some way has changed the game for real. And if you can do this just for five to 10 minutes a day instead of scrolling, then I'd highly encourage you to do it. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you do for your mornings. Thank you for watching. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'm Sarah Emily Social. I share daily routines, productivity tips, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.